Well, the Brooklyn community continues to mourn the death of the late 13 year old Kate Lewin. The teen was gunned down while sitting in a parked car at the end of March. Well, today the community came together to host a Stop the Violence March this afternoon in honor of what would have been Lewin's 13th birthday. Well, News 12's Jordan Kassane is at the Brooklyn Science and Engineering Academy where the march kicked off. He lost his life on March 31st, just a few weeks shy of today, his 13th birthday. And today, demonstrators took their marks right here at Cades Middle School, and they are on their way to the spot he took his final breaths, they say, all in an effort to help end gun violence. In matching t-shirts and with signs in hand. Say his name. Kate. Say his name. Kate. The community coming together today to celebrate Cade's birthday and to march against gun violence. Cade Lewin was shot and killed on March 31st while enjoying dinner inside of a car with his family. Demonstrators marching from right here at Cade's school to the spot where he was killed at 56th Street and Linden Boulevard. The suspect is still on the loose. It'll be the first time his loved once celebrate Cade's birthday without him physically present and gun violence disruptors today saying that while they are heartbroken without him, this celebration will help to end gun violence in our city. We miss you and we know that your life meant something to all of us and we're going to keep that message alive. We're not going to allow your life to be in vain. We're going to keep pushing. We're going to keep moving forward with stopping the violence and making sure that every child, every adult, every New York Every American can be safe in their own community. Cade's family has set up the Cade Ashton Tyler Lewin Foundation Fund. They say in an effort to help support children affected by gun violence, you can head to our website at news12.com to donate. From East Flatbush, I'm Jordan Kassane, News 12. His name live on in Brooklyn. Jordan, thank you.